Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgun 111, and welcome back to Spelunky 2. I am replaying the seed that we played recently on Twitch, that I believe was the previous episode of Spelunky 2, where we were trying to figure out where the alien compass was pointing. And so, in this episode, I want to try to get the alien compass again, but this time... I'm going to try not to go through the City of Gold. I'm going to try just to get to the Ice Caves. Uh, this is the temple, right? Right. So we need to find Von Horsing. Get the compass. Stay alive. And get into the Ice Caves. And that way we can hold on to our jetpack. Okay, but step one is to deal with this guy. Oh, poor damsel doggy. Oh well. Okay. We dealt with this guy. But now I really don't want part in the scepter. So we can ignore that. And then I believe... Yeah, down there... Is where I can find Von Horsen. There is a crate over here that I can at least check its contents. It's a compass. I'm about to get a better compass. So I don't really need that. Um, and I don't think there's really any risk at all of doing this and this. So I'm going to do that quickly, and I guess there could be, like, some blood in some of this since I've got a Kapala. So that could be good, too. Oh, really? I got poison from that somehow. Okay, that's unfortunate, but... I think I know a way that I might be able to get rid of the poison on the next level, since we have already crushed the damsel on this level. Oh boy, not what I meant to do. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, crap. Okay, got rid of him. Uh, I'm getting poisoned, so we really need to not worry about money and things. So on the next level is the star challenge. And the one time I got the star challenge, it gave me an elixir that said, like, cured all ailments and heals the... I don't remember exactly what it said. But I had speculated that it would be something... Oh, boy. That would cure uh, poison, which is a status effect that I am totally under right now. Now, the problem... Ugh, multiple problems. I'm just going to do this. Uh, the problem is that I have to win the star challenge, and it involves <sighs> torches, and I might have tried this once off camera already, and died in this room, because I was a dummy and threw a torch, and wearing a jetpack when you throw a torch, bad things can happen. <laughs> oh boy! Just like that. Okay. I don't think I'm doing it well. I might get it. Uh, there's still a couple up there. I do have Pitcher Smith. I did! Okay. And it did cure the poison and gave me some extra hearts. Okay. Hooray. I did it. Um, okay. I don't need to waste time in here. And I have a shotgun still out there, so I don't need to pick up the crossbow that's in here. Okay. Hooray. Don't need that. Neat. Um, do I have a shotgun? Did I drop my shotgun? I must have dropped my shotgun down into the hole down there. Uh, this could still be a problem, actually. Let's try this. Uh, that just went way too far down. I need to get rid of her. And I need to get rid of the crushy trap. And I need to not die. It's a lot of needs. Oh, wait. Okay, didn't do what I wanted. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, crushy trap's up there. I can see where my shotgun is. Uh, let's do this. Got rid of a crushy trap. Got me closer to the shotgun. Uh, shopkeeper's gonna wake up, which is not great. Uh, oh crap, and she's shooting at me. Okay, also not great. Yeah, shopkeeper, you go over there. I'm going over here. Okay, alien compass is pointing this way. We're still alive. Uh, being still alive is definitely a good thing. Oh gosh, can't see a thing. And I don't have spectacles. 
I think we've been here before. Uh, and it's pointing downwards, so I'm going to use my bombs to try to get downwards. Thanks to the blood. Oh gosh, but there is a resurrector dude somewhere. So we need to start dealing with him. Now this is dangerous, but I'm going to just throw a bomb. Oops, that's not where I wanted that bomb to go, really. Okay, I can see the... Oh, boy. I didn't see the skeletons coming, though. Crap, I can't just stand around here. Boom. Okay, you need to die, and you're going to come back to life, perhaps. Because, yep, okay. Because that's what happens. I still don't know... I'm doing this for a light, hopefully. Did not get the light that I need. Okay, I hear the shopkeeper. Crap. I didn't manage to hit the shopkeeper. That time I might have. Yes, okay, great. Shopkeeper defeated. I don't know why I'm picking up this money. I don't need it. Okay, so we got through the dark level. That's the scariest bit. Now we just need to try to get to a bottom left exit. Oh, wait. Do not like those summoner dudes, and I'm still not sure where he was. I see him. There's two of them. And they're both dead. Great. Okay. Uh, we have an angry croc man. I did manage to shoot the uh, poison snake, which is good. And I think we can just kind of... Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, uh, don't let the crushy trap hit me. It's actually going to be difficult. Um, let's do this. Yeah, now I can jump on the cat, and the crushy trap won't be coming in the same direction as me. And I think the smart thing to do here is this. Great. Okay, darn it. He resurrected the shopkeeper. That son of a gun. <laughs> I did not see that coming. That is pretty funny. Um, Alright, I'm not currently wearing a jetpack. No, I am still wearing the jetpack, but my shotgun is down there and the shopkeeper is back to life. Okay, I know the threats I am facing. I am capable of overcoming this adversity. So let's just do it. Okay, and the Crushy Trap's gonna go past me, that's fine. Shopkeeper is alive again, so I need him to die again, which he did. And then that guy's not trying to do any resurrection right now. Great, great, great. Okay, we have the ice caves. I lost my Ankh, but this is gonna be the level that has an extra exit. I do need extra supplies that come from the Yeti Cave. And I also do want to get the clover that's in the Yeti Cave. Uh, and these guys have blood, and so if I happen to pick some of that up, that would be great. Great. Uh, Damsel Doggy, I'm sorry. Oh boy! Uh, yeah, I'm sliding all around here. Right. I definitely I need to get to the ice caves and get some spike boots. Uh, okay. Great. Okay, shopkeeper's angry. He can just fall out of the world probably shortly. Uh, or hopefully. <laughs> okay, I don't remember exactly where the cave entrance is. Anything good here? There it is. Oh, ropes. Ropes are good. Okay. So, where is Mother Yeti? She's there. If I do... Oops. Well... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant to do. Okay, did I kill her? I think so, but my shotgun ended up down there. Okay, yes, there's a bunch of supplies over there. And actually, if I do this, uh, no, it just slid past them all. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be very careful. Uh, where's my boots? Did they fall down? They fell down, that's a shame. I would like those spike boots. I am not forgetting the uh, clover. Just have a bunch of other pressing needs right now. 
how am I gonna get the clover? Let's actually do this. Just to make things nice and easy. Okay, got the clover. Okay, spike boots, top priority. Got it. Okay, now I can do this. Uh, that missed you, sadly. Uh, if I do it as gentle as possible, I'm still gonna go off. Uh, you've taken a bit of damage, though, and so if I do this... Oh, crap! How much hit points do you have? Gosh, he's strong. Interesting, I can't pick up the compass because I have the alien compass. I don't need more... No, there's spring boots over there, too. So I would like to get that. Also, you guys have blood. And blood could help me out. Is there any danger that you guys are going to throw me? Oh, I need my shotgun. That's something I want. Okay, great. Shotgun reacquired. So, I've gotten the things I want. Okay, I've got much more mobility. We can try to collect blood when it's convenient and safe to do so. Which isn't very often in this crazy place. Oh wait, that thing's gonna super explode probably. Yep, okay. Don't know that I've witnessed that before. Glad that I thought of it. Okay, the shopkeeper outpost got me last time. Let's not let it get me this time. Oh crap. So what I'm going to do... Actually, I'm running low on bombs. I was going to throw a whole bunch of bombs at it, but I think that's not actually viable. I could do this one, though. Okay. I knocked out at least one of the shopkeepers there. They might have all fallen out of the world. So the bottom right exit, according to the compass, is the one that leads to the new place. Oh, crap! <laughs> And now, unfortunately, I don't have climbing gloves. So it's very scary to try to just follow this arrow. But I'm going to try to just follow it. It's pointing down and to the left. Like, I tried to go down in that direction. Hmm. Hmm. So, I tried to go where it was pointing, but I did not go there. I just fell off and died. I suppose, since I had the jetpack, like, I could have used a rope to try to climb there, but it seemed like it was still pointing off the screen. So, where do I think I do with that? I don't know. All right. Um... What else do I do with the rest of this episode? Actually, I have some fun footage from me in the temple the other day that I thought was just going to end up on the cutting room floor because I didn't really accomplish anything. Um, but it was kind of a crazy run. And so maybe I'll just tack that on to the end of this and call that an episode. And yeah, the alien compass. I'm just going to have to think about on my own a little bit because I tried to go directly where it was going and there was nothing there that I could see. So I hope as always that you guys are having a great day. Enjoy this bonus footage that I think maybe doesn't have commentary. Maybe it does. I think it does actually. I don't remember. You'll see. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. So I was just going to edit the video together and I looked carefully at what happened at the end when I fell out of the ice caves and maybe I'll put some slow-mo footage in so that you can see it. I think basically where the arrow was pointing, like one square off screen, I think there may have been a ledge that I like fell and bounced off of because I was falling too quickly. So if I had either slowed myself down with the jetpack or done something else to be able to slow down there, I probably could have landed on a ledge and then walked through a door that might have been just off screen. I think maybe that's what happened. Um, so definitely in a future episode, we're going to have to try that. Uh, but in any case, here is the bonus footage from the temple from the other day. I hope you enjoy it. hope you guys are having a great day. Bye-bye. But then I'd still want the Kapala after that, ideally anyway. So hopefully we'll find an opportunity. I wonder if Damsel Doggy appears in the City of Gold. You know, I don't remember... I don't remember seeing that or remembering looking for that or whatever. We might be able to sacrifice Damsel Doggy in the City of Gold before we sacrifice ourselves. Maybe? Possibly? 
Uh, parachute could be good. I'll probably spend it on accident very quickly. As often happens. Oh! There's a crate up here. Hello, crate. There's two crates up here. Hello, crates. With bombs! And bombs! Oh, that was totally worth it. Cannot complain about that. Or why would you? Okay. Um, this is the tide pool level, and it's mostly exploded. And I don't think... I don't need to worry about money. And then this is the temple level, which is the exit that we're going to take. We are going to the temple. And we're going to try not to get cursed or do other things that'll kill us, etc., etc. Oh, boy. Oh, he teleported away. How nice. No, he's... He's in unhappy mode. Oh, he got hit by this guy. All right. Hey, I dealt with that guy. That means you're my best friend now, right? I hear an incessant buzzing, so that means there's going to be, like, bees on this level, I guess. Oh, there's the bees. Okay. Yep, I see the hive. Okay, great. Um, I see a Kali altar. That could be super good. Oh, boy. Uh, but there are... Oh, boy. Okay. But there are many threats. I don't know how to deal with... Oh, I telefragged them. Neat. I was going to say, I don't know how to deal with you, but then I dealt with them, so... Turns out I'm a liar. Okay. Uh, turkey, I think not now. <sighs> I'd like to find the damsel. Oh, you're creating more bees? That's not good. Ah, I found the damsel. Uh, this could be great. Good. Good. All right, let's try to juice these guys carefully. Ouch, 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 ouch. I'm down to one heart. I really need some health. There's some blood. Okay, we'll try to work on getting blood and not dying. Uh, very carefully. I do need to find Anubis, right? He's on this level somewhere. Oh, he's right up there. Oh, and there's a kitty cat. Okay, and I have time pressure, as always, because it's Spelunky. And there's other enemies over there, so I kind of want to come this way. Will the cat see me? Okay, Anubis has woken up. And I do have sticky bombs. No, I don't have sticky bombs, so this is going to be difficult. Okay, he got rid of the cat, at least. I forgot about that attack. So that could easily kill me if I'm not careful. And he can't fit through there right now, so that's kind of a problem. Here comes that attack. Okay. Don't mind me. Hey, he didn't mind me. Uh, he's still alive. Uh, don't mind me again. Oh boy. Ah, uh, kind of. Come down this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good spot for you. Perfect. Now come over here. Did I hit him? I did not. Let's try again. Hey, guy. Uh, do I have any other better weapons I could use against you? My feet, actually, are very sharp with their crazy shoe, shoes, boots, whatever. Also, uh, a ghost has appeared and made the situation more dire. Much more dire. We're going to give ourselves some options. Uh, I don't really like any of these options. But I need this guy's thing. Oh, wow, it got stuck in the honey. That didn't occur to me as, like, a thing that could even happen. We have multiple ghosts now. Hi, ghosts. Quit being pains in the nowhere. Uh, you need to go. Oh, boy. I'm going to be able to have four ghosts. Ah, uh, we did it. We used up the Ankh. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Are the ghosts still going to be on the level? Probably. Yes, the ghosts are definitely still active on the level. 
Let's do that. Uh, this dude. Oh, gosh. Man, the ghosts move fast. Okay. Never had the jetpack along with these ghosts. Oh, I could try to crush Anubis. Try to use the environment to my advantage. Ah, here's a way to get the feet. There we go. Okay. So the scepter is there. And I don't think the ghosts go any more than the four of them. So if I kind of lure them over here, then maybe I can run through here and then get to the exit. No problem. No problem. Okay, that was fun. Question mark. <laughs> uh, so I guess we're not going to the duat today. Ooh! Have I tried duplicating the scepter? I feel like maybe I did try duplicating the scepter. Ah, oh, I got poisoned by that, really? Uh, I would have that in my notes, I think. Um, Excalibur created broken Excalibur. No, you don't get a duplicator gun here. You get an elixir, which is exactly what I need right now. Uh, so let's definitely try the challenge and see if we can win. Uh, because we would get an elixir, which would give us our health back. Um, and we would no longer be poisoned, which would make me very happy. All right. So there's a couple on the bottom right that I didn't get. And I don't have a pitcher's mitt, I don't think, sadly. It's going to take a little bit of extra time to get some of that. And the ones on the bottom... Oh, boy. Now we're going to run out of time. I feel protected. Five seconds remaining. Uh, where's the one that I've done? I see it. Time's up, you lose. Did I miss another one, too? Uh, well, in that case, I guess I'm just gonna die. That's a shame. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So why not? Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing with my life now. Also, did I see the place? Oops. Well darn. Do I want to rerun the seed? Is this good enough to air? I don't know if this is good enough to air. 